Well, it's famous as the home of some of the world's greatest ballet and opera. And tomorrow, Moscow's Bolshoi Theatre will reopen its doors after a long and controversial restoration project. It dragged on for six years and was embroiled in allegations of embezzlement and fraud. But there's nothing new about furor at the Bolshoi, as our Moscow correspondent Norman Hermont reports. It's not quite ready for its close-up yet but Russia's renowned jewel of the arts is poised to reclaim its former glory. There are still workers clambering all over Moscow's legendary Bolshoi Theater, even as rehearsals for the opening performance go on. Nearly two centuries of magnificence has been restored by a project years overdue and hundreds of millions of dollars over budget. 3,500 people were working here, another 2,000 were in the restoration workshops. For most of them, it was the project of a lifetime. It certainly seems that there's been no expense spared. The opulence of czarist Russia is back. And the project manager is keen to point out all sorts of new technical innovations, a stage that can be raised or lowered in newly built levels underground. It's another world from Soviet times, when the Bolshoi was used by the Communist Party for speeches and the building's foundation slowly crumbled from neglect. After six years, the scaffolding is gone, but the allegations of embezzlement and fraud surrounding this project remain. So far, the price tag has hit more than $730 million, with the final bill still unknown. Nobody knows at the moment, and I uh, think that uh, this the legacy and uh, these scandals uh, will linger many years afterwards, uh, like it was in, uh, in Milan with uh, Laskawa reconstruction, for example. If the painfully slow and hugely expensive restoration of the Bolshoi is a scandal, well, the ballet theater that bears its name is almost as famous for those as it is for its performances. And this year has been no exception. The Bolshoi once again made headlines for the wrong reasons. One of its renowned soloists, Gennady Yanin, was forced to quit after erotic photos of him and another man appeared on the internet. After Mr. Yanin, who had become the ballet's director, stepped down, the pictures disappeared from the net without a trace. Longtime Bolshoi watchers say it's just the latest in a long line of controversies. This scandal did affect the troop, but it will soon be forgotten. I would like to stress that he was not accused of being gay. He was not accused of anything. The scandal was just that his personal photos were placed on the internet. The Bolshoi never seems far from scandal. Take celebrity ballerina Anastasia Volochkova, for example. Ditched from the troop for reportedly being too heavy, she rebounded as a member of the Vladimir Putin-backed United Russia Party. But that link ended after a beach photo shoot sparked objections. She remains one of Russia's best-known dancers, much to the dismay of serious art critics. Madame Volochkova decided that she is the best, the most outstanding ballerina in Russia and probably in the whole world. And she started behaving like that, not just in the theater, but outside it too. Despite the scandals, the Bolshoi carries on. In the end, responsibility for the restoration was transferred directly to the office of the president. It's not clear what that may mean for any potential criminal charges or attempts to recover money that may have been embezzled from the project. But it does mean it is now, finally, finished. Norman Hermont, Laidline.